Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be trying this V-Part Curly Wig. So this is my first time doing this hairstyle and I really want to try this because it's something easy and something you don't have to do too much. If you know me, I love a good, easy, and simple hairstyle to do. This is something that I actually wanted to try doing more like of a sew-in, but I don't know how to do a sew-in. I don't really want to go to anybody to do a sew-in, so this is like the next best thing to try. I section that top portion of my hair off so that that can be like the leave out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie the rest up and I'm taking, I took like a little piece also on the side so that those two can like be out so it looks more natural, you know? So my hair underneath it, I'm, the, you can just watch this part, but it's not gonna be perfect. I'm just kind of making sure my hair is just flat and out of the way. So it's not perfect. I don't really know how to braid that well. And I also didn't even feel like braiding and just doing all this extra stuff. So my hair underneath it, I did those two little braids on the side. And then I took my hair, like the bigger pieces of my hair, like in the back, and I just put it into a ponytail and I braided those. And like, I just want to make sure it was flat. I didn't care if it was perfect or not. So you can do whichever way you want to do. This is more like the lazy method where you don't want to fully cornrow and like fully braid your hair. Also, if you're in a rush and you don't have time to braid your hair, this is a good way to do it. Um, you just want it flat mainly. Just mainly get it flat so you don't have a bump underneath the wig. Okay, so once I'm done braiding it and this is as flat as it's gonna get for me, I went ahead and put it into a bun. Now that little bun, it did stick out, but you know, I didn't go out anywhere with this. If you're actually going out, definitely make sure it's flat. Um, I didn't really mind because, you know, I was just doing this for the video. It was my first time installing it, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But I went ahead and put that wig cap on just to secure my hair and I just didn't want my hair out, you know, and getting tangled or snagged into the wig. And so as for the wig, this is what it looks like right out of the packaging. So this is a V-part wig and it is in the length 26, 26 inches long. So this one has five clips total. It has two on each side of the V-part and then one down in the middle. And then it has like three of those little clip cuff things. I don't know what those are called, but those three are there as well. And so this is what the wig looks like. It has a really nice density. It's like 150 density, but it feels a little heavier than that. Um, and yeah, this one again is from Amazon. I'm gonna have the link and everything down below in the description box. This video is not sponsored at all. Like this wig, I went and bought myself and found it myself and looked through a bunch of reviews and a bunch of videos and everything on Amazon. So I found this myself and I'm very pleased with it. Not only that, but also the price was really good too. Like I paid like 116, 117 for this wig and it's a 26 inch, so that's really good. But anyways, I went ahead and I installed the clips. Um, I'm going to show here in a minute what it looks like on the bottom there. Um, I definitely could use a little bit more help doing that, but I didn't want the wig to be too far up and like be in the way of the leave out. You know what I mean? So I just left it like that and I think it looks fine. I'm going to cover it up with my hair. Um, so I'm using a comb and I'm making my middle part here and I'm tying one side up and I'm working one side at a time. I'm using some water and I'm going to try to blend in my hair with the curly hair. Um, everything I do to my hair, I have to do to the wig, of course, so that it matches and it looks, you know, even. So I'm using, um, I use some uh, mousse. I'm using this Pantene mousse and I'm using this, um, I tried to use this on both my hair and the wig, but I felt like my hair, it wasn't doing right so i went in with a little bit of gel eco styler gel and i'm using that on mainly i'm using it on both but i'm trying to mainly use it on my hair because i feel like my hair it kind of cooperates more with gel than it does with mousse and i feel like the wig cooperates more with the mousse you know if that even makes sense but i'm using both of those to style the hair and blend my hair in with the leave out or blend my leave out with the hair So, so far, this is actually looking really good. Um, I'm going back in with some mousse and I'm just putting that on top of just everything I just did. Mm -hmm. 
so after that of course i have to do my edges i'm using this toothbrush and i'm using um some of the same eco styler gel and then i also went in with some of the style style um factor pomade stuff and i'm using that for um just to hold it down a little bit better you know i feel like just eco my hair kind of lifts up so i'm using that just to go back over it So this is what the hair looks like and how it blended in and everything. This is while it was still wet and then this is dry. Um, it's a little bit of a difference. It's still kind of weighed down. Um, I'm going back in and like just smoothing my hair down a little bit more. I felt like it had kind of a lot of volume at the top there and it looked a little frizzy. Um, so yeah, this is what the hair looked like once I got finished. I feel like it turned out really good. Another thing, I was going to cut the hair um, and kind of make it look a little bit more natural you know because it's kind of like my hair stops right there and then like the long hair so i was gonna go in and cut it cut the wig but i decided to just leave it like that for now this is about how long the hair is on me and where it flows and it's a really nice length like i said it is 26 inches long so it's a really nice length wig but other than that that is all for this video i hope you guys liked the video and everything i showed i love this wig myself and i definitely recommend to go get it again this video is not sponsored like this is something that i found so I feel like it's a really good wig and I love how it turned out. With all that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!